All right, today we're going to take a look at a new knife brand that I just received. And it is brought to us by, or in, con in collusion with a TV show called Naked City, which aired from 1958 to 1963. A few notable stars, there is Robert Duvall, Walter Matthau, Gene Hackman, Captain Kirk, and Jack Klugman. So let's take a look at this knife. It's the first one of this brand that I've received. And it is called Ned Foss More Than Sharp. It's got that little lion. And it comes in just a cardboard box. It's got some stuff on the back. <laughs> you can see where it's made. Uh, it looks like it has something to do with Berlin, Germany. And of course there is the some information that says it's a sharp blade. Let's take a look. Now this Ned Foss comes in one of the nicest little cases I've ever had with a knife. It looks like carbon fiber but it's just probably just a nylon material. It's a really really nice case. Good zipper. Now it comes with a nice cleaning cloth right there. Also comes with an information packet or just an information little paper and they are calling this thing the Black Mamba Klopmesser and this is just information tells a little bit about it uh, da, da. and it is in English and German must be a big seller over in Germany it also comes with a pivot tool. Let's see if we can get it out. There's the pivot tool. And the knife is nicely wrapped in a, an elastic. So here is the blade. Now it does have micarta scales. And it says this was made out of black or gray burlap. Now if you look closely, you can see the burlap sticking out from the edges. Those little pennants, Irish pennants sticking out from the edges. You can see it's uh, some kind of cloth. It's a really nice finish. It's pretty smooth. Not really a lot of traction on this thing. But the micarta makes it good in all kinds of weather conditions. So it has a one way, really deep pocket clip. There's the Ned Foss. And you can see it's a deep carry pocket clip. It is removable. And it does have a lanyard hole. And this is a flipper. There's the flipper. Comes out extremely smooth. On brass, brass ball bearings. Now it doesn't have any traction notches that I can find anywhere on it has about an inch and a quarter spacer that flow through design and the steel inserts are not cut out very much or at all and it is a liner lock like I said it's really good uh, really fast and smooth coming out 
And the only blade markings on this thing are right there. And that says D2 steel. So the blade length on this is right about three, three and a half inches. And the overall length is at right about eight and one quarter. And the weight of this thing is 3.8 ounces. It feels like a lot less for some reason. It's, it's really, really well balanced. I guess that's it. So let's do a little cut test on this. First we'll do a little paper. It's not really great. It's not real bad, but it's, it could be a lot better. Let's do a uh, little heavier cut test with some cardboard. This is a Reese's Pantry Pack cardboard. So it cuts fairly well on the heavier cardboard. But I'm not really impressed with the way it came from the factory. Could be better. I can fix that. And the last test we're going to do is a drop test. Onto this Thailand cutting board. And it's acacia wood. I drop it from, as I'm going to halfway stand up. Try to drop it from about 30 inches. So that stuck nice, but look at this. It started to close when it hit. I'm going to try that one more time. I'm just going to make sure this is locked open. Drop it one more time. Okay, that time it stuck okay and didn't start to close. That might have been an, an anomaly. But that is the Ned Foss pocket knife. Not too bad. I'll give it a little cowbell. Some New Year's cowbell. Knuckle bomb.